Alright guys, I've gotten several requests for this uh, rehydration and refeed video after doing the water cut to make weigh-ins for the weightlifting competition that I did last weekend, uh, the deadlift meet. And it's, it's, it's nothing complicated. Um, I'm going to show you some pictures and I'm going to link below to an article on completehumanperformance.com that talks about um, staying hydrated and why Gatorade and other sports drinks are not good options for staying hydrated. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to the pictures and start talking over those because it's really bouncy in the truck. All right, guys, so immediately after weigh-ins, I drank a liter of generic Pedialyte. Generic because it's $1.50 cheaper. Then throughout the rest of the evening, I had another liter of generic Pedialyte. With those two liters, as I drank, I took two grams of L-glutamine per eight fluid ounces. Check that article I'm linking to below for why the L-glutamine. Even though the article says BCAAs plus L-glutamine, but then it goes on to say that BCAAs don't matter, just the L-glutamine, I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, then I ate what I would normally eat in that day. This is a spicy chicken wrap from a place called Pita Jungle. That's the macros for half a wrap. I ate the whole wrap. I just wanted to get plenty of carbs, fat, and a little bit of protein. Then I had a gyro salad, um, and I wanted the greenery for the fiber so I could get rid of anything that was left in my stomach the next morning. Yeah, that's a pooping joke for any of you who aren't very big on subtlety. <laughs> Anyways, so after, well, before weigh-ins, this is where I was, or actually at weigh-ins, 162.4. Five hours later, I was 172.4. This is after my rehydration and refeed. The next morning when I woke up, I was 168.6 for the meat. Then I had another liter of Pedialyte that morning, another liter throughout the meat, and I ate a banana in between each lift. Why? Because I like bananas. <laughs>